Yo guys, and welcome back to episode 2 of my FIFA 17 Manager Career Mode series. Who's this Jimmy Conrad prick? Nobody wants to listen to your shit. Ultimate Scream, more like Ultimate Scam. EA just wants your money. Alright, so I got a little sidetracked there. But uh, we ended last episode with a 1-1 draw, which wasn't a terrible way to start off the season. So um, now we play the Houston Dynamo in our second game. Hopefully we can actually win this time. I'm going to fast forward to the game day. Might have switched some things up. Yeah, the CDM looks a little tired, so I might swap him out for somebody. I don't know who, though, because the rest of my team is pretty shit. Yeah, Rosenberry looks pretty good. Right back at CDM. He's got some speed. Save those. And uh, everything else looks pretty good. Let's uh, get into the next game. I think I'm going to play in the uh, swaggy white unis today. With the big bimbo on the front. Oh, nice. Playing under the lights. Oh, yeah, let's see if we can get three points today. All right, let's try to move the ball around well today. Try to get some chances. All right, good start. How is that not a foul? What do you mean? Oh, this ref's a fucking idiot. All right, come on, great pressure. You in? Now, Great tackle. Let's go. What the hell was it? Call the foul, ref. Jeez, it was scored. Looks like I'm not going to get any calls from the ref today. Oh, great run by Gaddis. Come on. Make that run. Cut in. Cut in. Let's go. What the shit was that, Gaddis? Jeez. In his defense, he is a 69 rated right back. So, can't really blame him for not putting it in the top bins. So this first half has been pretty boring. I had one chance, he had maybe two chances, we both missed. So, I feel like both of our defenses were just stopping the other one. It was a lot of midfield play. I play five at the back, so... So I guess I'm sacrificing a little offense for some defense, but I'd rather not concede... Especially with a shitty team like this. Alright, so decent first half. Not a lot of chances. Hopefully I hit him with a decent team talk and we get something created in the second. Alright, so my team talk must not have done shit. Because they were all over me in the second half. It felt lucky just not to concede. Look at them, they're just keep putting the pressure on me they should be up one nothing but this idiot missed I didn't really even get the ball out of my half in the second half it was just brutal I can't wait till the transfer window to open up so I can start selling some of these players because I just can't get anything started the defense has been playing solid but other than that and the goalie but other than that guys I gotta switch something up here my team's floundering. It's like playing with a bunch of inbreds. Switch some people out. Alright, so... Bring in him for Pontius. Alberg for Bedoya. Bedoya hasn't done shit. And then I'll bring in Davies, fresh striker. And then drop Sepong back. Hopefully that does something, because as of right now, it's been brutal. Play his teammate through. Another great play the by the goalie, Blake. Crisp defending there. All right, ball went out of play, so let's get those throw. subs in. Tackle. See if they can do anything. We'll see with these possession stats, Alan, that yes, the, uh, Oh, good movement, good runs. Gaddis. Dude, Gaddis is the MVP. Yeah. He's always making those yeah. runs. Gaddis with the great time. ball to he Davies. Matched. Come on. Keep it going. Cut it in. Nobody in the box. Cut it in. Yo, pass it back. Pass it back. No, not him. Still. Let's go. Huge goal. Yeah, don't celebrate because you played like shit. Just kidding. You just came off the bench. That's awesome. I can't believe we just scored. 
Had nothing. First, first decent attack all game. Put it home. Super sub Alberg slots it right in the bottom corner. Look at that ugly face. Guys, I think we found our calling. We're going to play that Leicester City counter-attack style football that won Leicester the league. We just got to sit back, absorb, not concede, play strong at the back, and then hit him on the counter and score. We just need to get some better attacking options because right now the only one doing anything is Gaddis, and he's a shitty right back. Oh, no, don't concede in the last minute. Come on, guys. Play strong D. Let's go. Pull the whistle. Pull the whistle. Yes! First win of the year! That was a big win for us. Oh, look at that handsome coach. Oh, that's a great handshake. I don't even want to look at these match stats because we got dominated. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. One shot on target, one goal. Let's just look at the scoreboard. We actually managed to out-possess them. So, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Solid second game. As the skipper, Gaddis, MVP. Got him. He's the only one that did anything all game. Him and Blake. Oh, look at that. Sitting at the top of the table in the tournament. So, guys, I just noticed that there's this new thing. Training. I've never seen this before in any of the FIFAs. I'm guessing it's kind of like the journey training, so you just assign people drills and they get better, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I end up picking uh, Saipong, AU, Padoya, Blake, and Jones for the training. And, uh, and I was going to do it myself, but I realized it would probably take like an hour. So I'm just going to simulate it and see what happens. All right, so B, B, Bedoya gets a D, goalkeeper got a C, and Jones got an A. That's decent. I guess Bedoya sucks at training, so. But actually, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here, so uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. If you want to see anything change, just let me know, and uh, see ya.